Beautiful Virgos, welcome into the Gifted Hermit, general love reading here. It's either going to resonate with you or not. You may find some bits do and some bits don't. Take what does and let the rest slide, baby. So I've asked Tarot, like what's going on for Virgos with regards to love? We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles and the Lovers card. Oh, darling Virgos. Some of you guys... There may be um, a connection here that's come to an end or somebody shut you out, you, you feel left out, you don't feel appreciated. What came to me was you lot thinking like, am I ever going to find my forever person? Am I ever going to get my happy ending? Am I ever going to have a committed connection? Maybe things haven't worked out with regards to love. It is what it is, Virgo, you know? I want to say, oh well, but that maybe sounds a bit mean. Look, at the end of the day... You, you got to love yourself, baby. Yeah. If they can't love you, then you love you. Straight. Period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very family orientated, aren't you, Virgo? We're coming into the festive season. You really are there for everybody, Virgo. But who's there for you? If no one's there for you, you're going to be there for you. Gifted's here for you. Okay. Who is it that's thinking about you? We have the devil card, darling, which can indicate a Capricorn for some of you guys. We also have Virgo and Taurus energy here. Whoever it is that's thinking about you, perhaps there's some sort of toxic energy, a toxic connection. Things were toxic. It could be um, unhealthy connection. Maybe this person's got some sort of addictions. I feel like this person, there's somebody spying on you, okay? wondering hoping for an opportunity i also got this energy of oh is virgo with somebody else virgo doesn't give me the attention that we once had for some of you guys here it feels like a fast connection as well like it it finished as quick as it started okay it's not going to be for everybody but that's what i get for some of you guys here oh <sighs> dear I feel like there's somebody trying to figure out, have you moved on, Virgo? Have you? Have you moved on? You can tell me. You can tell me if it still hurts. Who wants Virgo? Next question. Who wants Virgo? Nobody wants me. Darling, you are what you attract, okay? You get up in the morning and you get in that mirror and you say, girl or boy, you fine. I love you. You say that to yourself. Who wants Virgo? Oh, we've got a slight obsession here. Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Whoever it is that wants you. Could be a new connection. Maybe you've been very clear with your intentions here. Um, very clear with regards to love and your expectations or what it is that you're looking for. Who wants Virgo? One more card. Who wants Virgo? Sometimes I wonder, am I just waffling? Like, what is happening here? Someone said um, in the comment section, this is a recycled reading. Well, first of all, I only put up, I do not repeat, like, uh, readings. Like, I don't put them up multiple times. So you got that wrong, mother. Who wants Virgo? Wow, we have twin flame energy here, soulmate energy here, Virgo. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I'm picking up on a lot of you guys' energy. And that's that sort of saying where people say, you know, I'm dating to marry. Yeah. And one of my clients, you know, she told me her grandma said, you're single until you're married. Okay, so I think it's important to kind of like keep that mindset. There's no point... Um, putting your all into a person and then kind of like closing off your options, closing off opportunities here. Whoever it is that wants you or displays that they want you, they got to prove their part. You know, they got to put in the work because a lot of you guys, you just want stability. I'm getting that in this reading here. You know, you're ready to settle down or you've been ready to settle down. 
and you know perhaps people are just letting you down not ticking boxes here people are fast to say that you know you've got high standards there's nothing wrong with high standards darling there really isn't he truly loves Virgo oh my son's got a flu so I've got um some lovely lamb soup on the go it's nearly done he truly loves Virgo got two pages here who truly loves Virgo who truly loves Virgo I'm picking up on somebody that's younger than you or young at heart um, somebody where you've had fun times but right now there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of worry I don't think it's coming from you I think it's coming from your person who truly loves Virgo I'm waiting for a jumper there's too many cards um, I feel like there's distance between you and this person maybe you were fed up with giving and not receiving you know, um, maybe it felt a bit one-sided. Who truly loves Virgo? Someone that you've dreamed about, someone that's dreaming about you. <sighs> Capricorn energy is coming up in this reading today. One more shuffle. Who truly loves Virgo? Could be an Aries, could be an Aquarius. I do pick up on young energy with regards to who is it that truly loves you. It could be your children. Could be someone that still has some growing up to do. Mm -hmm. I get that energy. Um, what else to ask? We're gonna ask who's coming towards Virgos in love. Aquarius. Is coming towards Virgos in love. Wow, this is nice. I see some beautiful energy coming towards you with regards to love. We have the star card there as well as the nine of cups. Sorry, let's see if I can. Sorry about that, darlings. Who's coming towards Virgos in love? Could be an Aquarius. You know, I feel like your dreams are about to come true with regards to love. It's not going to be for everybody. Who's coming towards Virgos in love? Look, either way, you're on the right path, okay? You're able to manifest who you truly desire, Virgo. The right partner. Someone that's going to make you happy or add to your happiness, you know? Look at this. We have success. You know, with, the, with regards to the energy that's coming towards you, it's like lessons have been learned here. You know, have patience with yourself. Have patience with others. Listen to your own inner guide. There is a successful connection, I feel, coming here for some of you guys. It looks very promising. It really does. This person could be highly intelligent. It could be a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be those signs, Okay. But I feel like, you know, your time, your, your, your luck is changing for the better with regards to love. Maybe a highly spiritual person. Someone that's quite wise. There's a lot of wisdom here. There's a lot of intellect. You're going to get your lucky break with love, Virgo. I really believe that. What's the advice here for Virgo with regards to love? What's your advice for Virgo? I think it's important um, to, to build, to stay positive. To build, to stay positive, to have the right people on your team. Let's not do the shoulda, woulda, couldas. Let's try to vibrate higher. The night of one's there. It's adventure. It's fun. It's exciting. It's spark. It's getting your spark back. It's pursuing your dreams. You know, that's the advice. The advice here is to enjoy life as much as you can. Stay positive. Think more positively. Pursue your dreams. Work hard for that. 
you're on the right path if, even if you don't believe me that's fine but i'm here to tell some of you guys you are on the right path you know love will strike when you least expect it keep your hopes up you know ask the universe believe in order to receive and that's where I'm going to leave the reading. I have no idea if any of that made sense, darling, but it is what it is. If you'd like to book me for a personal reading, get in touch if you want to follow me on the socials. I follow back on Instagram. If you'd like to catch me for live, Tara, hit the bell so you get the notification of when I go live. And if you'd like to donate to the channel today, you're not obliged to do so. But if you'd like to, there is a PayPal link in the about section. And all donations, no matter how small, are always appreciated. Be kind to others, Virgo, as you always are. But most importantly, be kind to you and the gift that will catch you on the rebound. Take care, my loves. Mwah.